I picked this up today. This this brings me this brings me back when I was a kid. I um now growing up I was always into boy stuff. You know like G.I. Joe's and Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was always insanely huge on the them. But one of the things that I had to always have I didn't buy like a shitload of them. I bought a few. Like I said, I didn't buy a shitload, I bought a few. That was Lisa Frank. Now back then Lisa Frank and this was uh nineteen ninety four ninety five. Back then Lisa Frank was just stickers. I think that was about all I saw in the store. It was stickers, pens and pencils and the little tiny notebooks. And that was it. Well notepads. And so I picked this up today. And I'm gonna tell you this. Maybe I'm partial to my childhood, but I always find that Lisa Frank coloring books were always a lot. You know, it, it was just something about them. They were always just perfect for coloring. You know? The images. The drawings and I want so detailed that you couldn't color it in and it wants so just you know a circle a giant circle with two circles and that was the face you know, it wasn't so simplified but it wasn't so complicated you know, I, I was I would say this though if you're going to buy a coloring book for your kid don't cheap out and get them no cheap old crayons but uh, you, you get when you buy these uh, like cheap markers, you know you couldn't color well, like a cheap marker. You couldn't color that in because if you just kind of went like that, it would run out of ink. Or you try even slowly, which would take you forever. But you do it like really slowly, and it would run out of ink before it could do that. Even the little fat marker, rose art markers, they were not that nice. I hated it. But I get Crayola. Crayola, I could color all of this in with the same marker and still not run out of ink. So, you know, again, if you're going to buy a uh, kid's coloring book, I recommend... I haven't really tried out, like, boy coloring books, but if you're going to get girl coloring books, Lisa Frank and Hello Kitty brands are the proverbial best. And, um, and for crayons, Crayola. Seriously, I stick with Crayola. Because, you know, if you're going to do one of those, like, art projects where you, I swear to God, a like, flea bit me or something. If you're going to do one of those art projects, you know, where you draw and, like, colored crayons and then you paint over it with uh, watercolor or black paint or whatnot and it will show up. If you're doing that, cheap ones are fine, but you know, for something like this, you you don't want slight shades and shitload of shavings. What bugs me about it, which kind of irks me, this is why I really am starting to loathe this company, Disney. If they don't team up with like really good crayon makers or marker makers, they team up with these shitty like watercolor thin ass creators. And, but yeah, I, I like I said, I do collect. I buy these mainly out of boredom. I like to have one of these around because if the lights go out and I need to entertain myself, I got the color. I got stuff I can trace over and color onto paper. I got sometimes stuff to cut out. Put that right here and that's my bed wet. But um I I collect a lot of them. I ain't joking with you. I'll show you in a minute. I probably got more than I can show right now because I have to dig around but I'll show you some more crayons and stuff.